All right. I had to calm myself down. Um, this perps for me when I hear them talking the way they talk. The hatred I have, it's not a real hatred of them. It's the hatred of what they try to come to cover up. I have no delusion what this program is about. I know that I'm just a test subject. They're using me as a guinea pig to develop this weapon system. They attack the mind and the body. But they utilize this bottom fuse, the civilians, this trash, who when they participate are tasked to create a deluded reality. They distort reality and they are the one implementing these tactics onto you um, as contracted and they're not the governmental entities in charge at just some level like they, there's some kind of buffer between the actual people in charge and this low life they are the the trash that implements these tactics now as a target individual i understand that but it doesn't mean that these people are not doing what they're doing it doesn't it doesn't excuse them for participating in that they are fully involved in a program that know they knowingly, consciously know what this do to men, women, and children. They are fully aware. There's no escaping that. I make sure of that, and I make sure that when we see each other, we know that I know that you're involved in whatever thing I put that in their face every day. They know that I know that the program that these people are employed, tasked to do what they're doing to me, does horrible things to the most vulnerable, from children to women to men. I know they're part of that. I have no doubt. I know they know that very well. They know that I know that very well. And I put that in their face every day. So there's no escapism. I look at them as the same people participating in the program that is torturing not only me, but men, women, and children. There is no escaping that. I will never give them that. They wanted to do these things where apparently the facade of their gender, or not even, their gender will create a facade. There's no facade. That's gonna make me think that, oh, you guys are a different kind of group where you're protected you now, trash. These people are not that. They are nasty low life. It's foul. It's disgusting what they do to me. But what they've done to children is even worse. My anger at this point is not even what they do to me anymore. It's what they do to me while being involved in a program that does these things. The hatred I have is like their life consists of countering and deflecting the reality of what they're part of, but then presenting themselves as protectors of children. It's so disgusting. It, to me, it's just worse than it. You know, I would prefer if these people would be, hey, you know what? Yes, we torture women and children. So what? Okay, now we're torturing you just like we're torturing just children and women. There's something to that that you can't say anything about it. It's like, okay, well, I mean, that's, that's that. But it's something else to be, you pay. Pay for what you've done. You pay for that involved in a program where you know they're clearly doing some disgusting things not only to you but to children and to women now that that's when you, the, the hatred can come in because you think that you can allow yourself to be involved in something that does this horrible thing some of them have participated in the torture of women and children now all of them some have but either way none of them can do this thing to me unless they're involved in a program where that is happening to children there is no escapism i will not let them trick themselves to think otherwise oh well, this is my first time this is your first time working in a program that torture women and children okay that's it so for me they wanted to leave this fantasy and the anger i have and they do they try to do these things in front of me which i'm like you torture fucking children, you fucking shit. That's what you're part of. And, like, and for me, they've been trying to say, no, but what you did as a kid, you paid, that's abuse. They try to exaggerate what I, I did as a, a child in middle school. In an in a, in a, appropriate act of a child because the child brain is developing. I don't care how you want me to see things. But on top of that, being involved in a program that tortured children, and then you talk about an act of a child that you know a child is capable of doing because of the developing brain of a child. I don't need to make sense of it. I don't want this trash who torture children. How do you make sense in involving yourself in something that does these horrible things to children? Oh, I myself didn't participate in the torture of these children. I did involve myself in a program that clearly tortured children, but never, you fucking clown.
nasty thing, nasty trash. When I see you, that's exactly what I'm thinking about. You're just an opportunist. You, this program can provide a lot of incentives. The key empowerment, these preps, and some of them are childlike shit. You know, the love they can get from just the intoxicating feeling that I am a subject that can do nothing about what's going to happen to me. They can control me in so many different ways. You know, the empower, like this trash hat, some of them have depressions, problems with anxieties. They take antidepressants. Like, they, this is not, they, some of them are being even on Prozac or some kind of medication. This is not the most mentally stable people we're talking about. There's some people with real mental issues, depressed over nothing. This is the moment when they do that to me to feel special. Oh, they love it, and I know they do. They love it because it empowers them. And some of them need that. Oh, it, it makes them feel special. But they won't do this thing to me, thinking that there's something else. I will refuse to do that. And for the manipulations, one thing is for sure. Whatever is going to happen to me, they will never delude themselves that they have made me acceptive of manipulation that I know clearly is what they forced me to have. Yes, I understand you're supposed to push me into insanity. That's the tactic this weapon system is utilizing onto me. This is what this technology is created, developed, is to attack the mind in these degrading ways. It is the job of this weapon. This weapon system is used onto us for that purpose, to break you down psychologically. It's like a cognitive warfare. This weapon is created for the cognitive warfare. We're just the guinea pigs for it. So when I make my videos targeting visuals, it's a, a way to kind of, it's therapy for me, but also my testimony can help you. I hope that's why I try to make more sen the most sense as I can, as this manipulation can make, make sound very nonsensical. So with me, it's been this disgusting manipulation when I look at the little kids, little girls. I just, one, one of my best friends, or somebody who was my best friend, we stopped talking really not too long ago. He has children, he has multiple children. He has a, 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 a kid, a, a girl, and, and, and a boy. He has two child, two children, excuse me. It's hard for me to express myself right now, but two children. One is, one is a girl, one is a boy. Two day when I see his kids, especially the little girl, they force me, there's nasty stimulations, which what they've been trying to make me acceptive of is like, no, you see black little girls. When you see black little girls, we just mapped your brain to you as a kid. We paired it to you, your experience as a child. So nasty. But this makes no sense. It's falsified, by the way. It's not me as a child. It's the way they've just been concocting this reaction to feel like something I experienced as a child. But that makes no sense. Because what you're saying is like, you're making me mentally retarded. There's terms for people who think like children when they're adults. It's a, disease, it's a disability. So you're saying that your rationality is to make me mentally or intellectually dis disabled, which was called by the time mental retardation. So it doesn't make sense. So what they've been doing is to manipulate my memories as an adult, forcing me to experience these things. So what they started doing with me, right? It, it was this. Since my friend had this child, I'm not sure when his kid, because I, we, didn't, we stopped kind of interacting with each other around 2019 or so. This man got married maybe 2019, right? Beginning. And now he has two children, and they try to make me imagine, why, how, how did you see the kid before August 19, 2019? Right, first of all, my, my brain is just kind of like fading away. But I don't remember, recall seeing this child, or maybe I saw when he was a baby or something like that. But I know I will not have these manipulations. Now my memories of it is very fainted, but if, if I saw it before August 19, 2019, that's really like a newborn. It must have been like a few months old. Most likely, it was after August 19, 2019. But because like, this is not the time, I, I don't even recall if I saw the kid before, you know, I've, most likely, I, I don't know. I don't remember, but it looks like most likely it was after August 19, 2019. But because of that, it's like, no, but he felt like that. It's so nasty. So I go through his page and try to look, and I, it seems like there's no picture of, of the baby when it was a newborn. So it looks like the, the baby was born in 2019 at some point. Or maybe, but it does, uh, um, is it after August 19? I'm not sure. 
right? But they're like, oh, you see, if you don't remember, maybe you're feeling the same reactions. Like, I know I didn't feel any of these reactions. I know. You know what they feel of is when they manipulate the memories, the best memories to manipulate is those that you don't really like, just it's nothing that's just memorable because it's so all there they can play it. Because sometimes they do some like obvious memory manipulation where you clearly remember not experiencing that. And they do that. So when you don't have like if it's a ah, just like a memory that's not something that's strong because it, perhaps it didn't mean much to you, it's not somebody who's special to you, it's, not, you know, it's just like, oh, an acquaintance of an acquaintance, you know, like something like that. And those, oh, they create the stimulation, they create this, and it, it hits even better in the brain because you don't really have a strong memory of that. They falsify memories that you strongly remember, and they falsify memories where your memories are kind of faded, and it's even better. It's a lot of memory manipulation. So, they were trying to bring that up. It's like, oh, and it kind of failed because it looks like this child was born not too long after August 2019. I don't know if it's before or after, but it could go either way, right? And there's no picture of that. You just see her after 2019. You see the newborn. So most likely I didn't see her after August 2019, but if I saw the baby when she was like a baby, baby, like an infant, it's probably... <laughs> you know, like it, it was, she was like a newborn, and this it, it's gonna be false. Uh, if, if I was gonna say, it means that what was going if I saw August before August 2019, for sure, I didn't have this reaction. I, I have no doubt, I know that none of this nastiness experienced before August 19, 2019. They just falsify my memories in this way now. So, what happened is now he has an acquaintance that I know through him, I'm not close to him, but we have friends on Facebook. I'm trying to figure out if this picture of, of, of the, when the baby was born. This friend, I'm not close to. I know him through him. I've seen him once or so, so but it's not like a close friend to me. It's just more like his, his, his family member to him. I'm not close to him. And I'm really not somebody who like care too much about what's going on with him. Maybe I'll, if I saw his profile, I'll go through it real quick. But it's not really like it will, it will have, it will need to be like, it's not somebody I care for. Like, and because he's not really my friend, it's just more because he's close to him. That's why I know him and then we're not really uh, close in that way. Now, going through his pictures and there's pictures of him when he's holding babies when he's like in 2016. They forced me to get the stimulation. So you see, you see, this is 2016. Yeah, we experienced that when you saw that. I was like, first of all, the reason why they're choosing to do that is because they know I don't have a strong memory of this person. I don't care about this person. Have I gone through and seen this picture before? I don't care. I don't know. But I know I will not experience it this way. But they love that kind of false memory. They like to, they love to manipulate this false, like to, to these memories into false memory because that means that I don't have strong memories of that, that person and this child. If I saw that, I don't know if I saw it or not. But this, this guy is not somebody I truly would care enough to go through his profile just like to know what's going on with him. Now, it doesn't mean that maybe I'll, I'll, I'll scroll down some points. I'm not gonna remember him. I'm not gonna remember this picture. He's, he's not like a friend to me. He's not somebody that cared too much for me to even look at it. Like, but it's perfect because even if I didn't see it, they can make me think, oh, you, you saw the picture, but you felt this way. Falsify. And if I saw it, it's like, oh, but you felt like that. You say we mapped it. They love this falsified memory. memory. And it's a black little girl. So like, you see, that's what you felt. And they give me the sensation that they make me have toward black little girls. This is a lot of rewiring and manipulations. They started with my best friend, which for sure, that just right? And this, this is somebody I care for if I, you know, and try to do that. The baby looks like he was born around August night or after August 19 or something like that. I'm not sure. But I was like, this for sure. I will never look at his baby and feel some stimulation if I was not being manipulated. And that would be after August 19, 2019. I don't recall seeing the baby before that, but maybe it was just such a newborn that it's... And the truth is, it looks like he didn't post any picture of the newborn. It looked like this picture was posted after like this kid was like, more of a toddler which is way after august 19 2019. so they were just trying to create this battle in my brain and so now they're going to this person that who is not close to me who is just the friend of this person of my best friend and he, there's a picture there where he's holding a baby a, a, a like two year old a year one year old and she's a black little girl and it's like, you see, you experienced that with map that, 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 and then you experienced that bullshit. 
just make him, make me experience that. And it's easy to manipulate my memories on that because I don't even think I saw this picture, but even if I saw it, I will not remember seeing that. So you can easily manipulate that. That is the things they do. It's continuously seeing how they can rewire my brain and manipulate my memories. It's so pathetic that they start with my best friend to know this person that is the friend of him. That, that, that when he saw that picture, I was like, what? You delusional trash. They try to do that to people who I'm close to, that I know, remember seeing the, their children and everything. That's my, my, my sister's best friend. I remember the, when they had their first girl. When she was a baby, when she was all, oh, I remember that. They tried to falsify those memories. I'm like, what? I mean, of course I made a video. So this person where, I don't even think I saw this picture because I won't care enough to go through all these pictures. Especially around that time, I didn't care about that, you know, that. So this is probably something I just, just saw now. Because I will not go through his pictures unless I'm trying to figure something out about my friend. Now they can manipulate my brain. Because he's somebody who is not somebody who in my brain will, who I'll remember seeing things for because I'm not somebody who's close to him. It's continuous manipulation of my brain to make me think that I experienced something I didn't experience. Then you hear this shit, tell me now you pay, you're gonna burn for it. Because they, what they don't try to do is like this feeling that they forced me to have today. They try to make me think that's what I experienced when I was a kid. No. And first of all, to try to make somebody experience something and say that's what you experienced as a child, you're literally clearly saying we're making you mentally retarded. We're making you an intellectual disabled individual. An adult don't think like a child. A child and adult don't have the same brain. The brain of a child is not developed, especially a child in middle school, especially a child that's eight years old, especially a child that's 10 years old, what? So you, they clearly do this pedophilia things, but of course I know that this is a weapon system. What they're doing to us, target individual, is not trying to figure who, uh, who we are. They are trying to change us into somebody else. That change for me started on August 19, 2019. They're trying to make you think the way you won't think. They are manipulating you, but they want you to think that when you're being manipulated, there's some, it should make sense. So now, your best friend, cousin, that you met once, or, oh, that, that, you see when you, you, you felt like that? Yeah, okay. Somebody that you don't care too much about, you, you know, you care in the sense like, oh, okay, I say, okay, if you, don't even, you don't even say his name. I remember hanging out with him in 2000. Seven, eight. That's it. That's the last time I even cared about him. That's the last time I go through his thing. Then he's like, "Not that picture that you felt like that." Most likely, didn't even. I probably never seen this picture until after August 19, 2019, when I redownloaded Facebook to figure out what's going on with the people that tried to manipulate me to experience this thing story. So th th this is most likely somebody. This picture you just saw. Now they gave you the stimulation they make you have, but because you really don't care too much about this person, you can't recall if you saw this picture before, because it's like, this is not somebody I, I will remember seeing that picture, I don't care. They're not your friend friends, they're not actually your real friend, they're just related to the best friend of yours. That's the things they do. I will never let them live the fantasy, but do you know why they're so aggressively this manipulative lately? It's because this woman, Megan, has testified and mentioned how she was molested, raped as a child. And today she's a target individual. That means that she gave torture in so many horrible ways, destroying the facade that they were trying to present themselves. The war they're in, these fucking losers, what they love to say they are war, is the war against reality. They live gaslighting, manipulating reality in every mean and shape. They use these fucking losers of human beings that don't understand that what they deserve for, for what they're part of, is death for sure. You can't do these things to people thinking that you are allowed to not die. You can't involve yourself in a program that does these mean, horrible things to even children, but because you got involved in it, this is supposed to be neglected. They, all, they use childlike people. They don't even understand what 
what it means to be part of what because they think they can normalize what they're part of i'm not the one who's going to bring that death to them don't worry i'm not even want to get that dirtiness on me let this shit get handled the way it needs to be handled the things they've done to me or anybody else will be reimbursed one way or another in the meantime i hope that my videos help somebody I hope that you don't get lost in some of this pathetic low, low life involved in this. They are bottom feeders. They are trash. Trying to get you to accept whatever manipulation they can make you experience today. And your memories, your brain, your current experiences, all of that are manipulated every day and altered. It's crazy. And let me just say that you will have your memories altered. They have the ability to do that and that's easy that's the easy work and when the memories are altered when it comes to some memories that maybe don't even exist maybe you didn't even ever seen that because it's somebody you know like it's not somebody you care for or maybe you somebody because you didn't care too much all that and I've, i'm leaning toward that i never even seen this picture because i don't care much about him to for him me to go see what's going on especially on facebook facebook i stopped checking facebook for a long time ago the reason why I'm back on Facebook now is because it's because uh, I'm 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 going back to my to to my um, to 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 the man memory manipulation and uh, they try to mess with me. Oh, remember the friend? You see their children? You see? And I'm like, there's no way. I go back to say, this is crazy. Of course, I didn't experience that. But they've been playing my brain, so that's why I reopened Facebook. So this person most likely didn't see it. And even, even if I saw the, the picture, I wouldn't even care about it. Okay, whatever, she, he's with some kind of kids. It's, I would not remember, oh no, I remember seeing that in 2017. Yeah, 2003, that's when I saw this. Oh no, in 2016, I saw that picture. It's not somebody that you care about. So you don't even rec recollect that. And most likely I didn't see it. But the memory is faced enough, it's old in this, is, 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 uh, is fading or enough it's not even fading it's maybe not even existing but i wouldn't know about that because did i one day go through his you know when i was going through my best friend it's like hey how's this guy doing did i go through that I was like, oh okay there's a chance but most likely not so this could be a feeling that i'm experiencing today and then made me experience that like, like it's, it's an experience that's just created as a memory that was never experienced. Like, um, meaning that I never even seen the picture. Like a complete falsified memory, meaning I never even seen the picture in my life before until after August 19, 2019. And they play this game. Like I said, any memories or any faded memories where there's a black little girl, they gonna falsify the memory they can make you have this experience the better it is if it's you don't remember too much about that memory oh there they manipulate that magically and if you don't even know if you ever seen this person or this picture oh well oh, you see what matter you see you felt that uh, trash us and really they start to try to make me accept of the they're like oh no they're gonna see that who because once they frame me, apparently I'm going to be tortured by people in wherever I'm going to be placed in when I'm framed. It's like, let them see that. But make the mistake. This is not the first video I'm saying these things. They do these things. Memory manipulation is something they've done. Some of the memories are completely non-existent, meaning they never even happened. Like, what I mean, not even, even just like seeing something. You've never seen that before. You've never seen that picture before manipulation oh you saw the picture and you feel like that some of the memory you saw the picture didn't get this reaction you didn't get the stimulation oh but you felt like that and so they love the best when your memories that they're manipulating are the memories that you have less like recollection oh do you even see this picture and if you saw you picked that picture you don't even remember because it's such an insignificant me presence in your life this, this is not somebody you care for so you're not gonna remember oh i remember he had a picture in 2016 when he was holding a baby i remember seeing that so that's all oh, you felt like that oh yeah, that's true that you that you mapped it but when they do that to like oh your best friend 
uh, your, your, the, the sister of the best friend of your sister that you hung out with, that you had relationship with, that you that you know, that you grew up with you, that saw you growing up, all that you have an actual relationship with, that you saw the babies, that you were like you know you saw them, uh, saw her in in in, in the, the pictures and everything, and you you talk to them, you have conversation with them. Damn it, then you feel like that. You like okay, this is so falsified. I can feel it. I like can know. And they do that all the time. I will never let this life live the fantasy. Yes, I know. Every time I'm, I, I see a black little girl, a baby, not even a black little girl, a baby, a child, any, especially little girls, I will get this manipulation. And I have this fucking trash who tell me I'm going to be framed. Try to make me accept this manipulation. These people involved in the program that torture children. And every time they're like, oh, you threaten us. Let me reassure you, target individual, when I see these perps and they try to play their game, I will be very much articulate one way or another to ensure that they know that I'm not going to identify with this. There's some part body who say black girls, and they say that like with, in a way that I'm going to accept it. Never. Black girls is what you manipulate me to experience. They even do these things where they do this noise campaign with whipping noises. To try to create like a, 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 a gaslighting tactic to get you to accept these things. First of all, I know they torture children, which is enough for me to want to be aggressive. But I'm not going to be aggressive. Uh, I pray to God to give me strength for that. Two, I know how they be manipulating my brain. Uh, this is another false memory, the manipulation that become. I've made so many of that. It's crazy. If I type in memory manipulation, I'll see a list of all these things, even all, all kind of. It's disgusting. And I've been saying the same thing. If the memory is fainted, perfect for them. Woo, manipulation. Sometimes they can create a memory that is not fainted. The memory here that's been fainted is because I don't recall even seeing that picture. So it's like, oh, perfect. Yeah. Doesn't even know if he saw that picture or not. Let's get that stimulation in. We mapped it. That's the things they do. Target individuals stay strong. And understand that this is the things they do.